In this episode, we're going to take a look at the details of a major milestone that our guild just passed in Golem Overlord, as well as take a look at the game overall, what I've been doing lately, the current status of the game, and where I see myself going from here in the game. If this sounds interesting to you, please stand by. Hey all you Golem Answers out there, Bronze Dragon here saying thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. If you like this kind of content, please leave a like and think about subscribing. I appreciate it. If you know anybody that's interested in uh, Web3 and blockchain gaming and might be interested in Golem Overlord, send them my link and uh, a link to my channel uh, to check out for more information. Okay, with that said, uh, we do have a couple spots left in the guild and the topic is mostly um, uh, today about uh, a major accomplishment we made in the guild. Just okay. to cut right to the chase, uh, we finally made level bunker level eight, uh, which we've been working on for quite a while. Uh, if you are not aware, if you're just playing and you're not in in guild management or anything, um, there is a tax that every guild can impart on all the members between one and five percent, and that comes out of each of your claim, and then that would go towards leveling up your guild. Okay, so uh, for a while, our guild has been at max 5%, which it sounds like a lot, but it's overall, it's not a huge amount um, that comes out each time. And I've been throwing that towards the guild leveling. Um, and the guild, uh, the point behind guild leveling is that as you level up, you get claim bonus modifiers. So you get extra percentage on your claim. Okay, with that said, uh, we had been sitting at max maximum uh, part that we needed for leveling for quite a while, at least two to three weeks. It was just the shard part that was keeping us down. And everybody was giving, you know, their, their uh, designated 5% each claim. It's just in this game, the shard part is what is going to keep your guild from leveling up. If people don't uh, go ahead and go over and above and donate some. And, you know, also it bears uh, repeating that if you do donate some, you still can get part of that back, half of that back, if you do leave the guild. So it's not all uh, donated. But either way, with that said, uh, let's go ahead and switch over to the guild screen. And we can see here that we are in the final the final campaign towards bunker level 10 right okay so starting from bunker level one all the way up to eight you gained a percentage point uh well the first three was one percent one percent one percent and then two and three percent it went every two levels now at bunker level eight we are at four percent right here okay so at bunker level nine we will get an extra percentage five percent and then at bunker level 10 which represents the current maximum level it will go up to six percent okay so and you can see the totals here um, like I said earlier the part goes pretty smoothly with uh, everybody's uh, basically it's a tax that goes off of your um, what you claim each time you claim on a daily basis right um, we are set at the 5% maximum for the game, um, and like I said, the part goes smoothly. Um, it's just the shard. Uh, here, yesterday on the live stream, uh, Jovac uh, uh, slash uh, Gathering the Magic uh, kind of uh, prodded me. He did uh, thanks go out to everyone who put went in over and above and put extra shard in the pot. And uh, he kind of prodded me, so I'm like, ah, I got on there. I was just tired of waiting for level eight. So uh, I went ahead and bought some shard, bumped us up there, about $25 worth of shard, bumped us into level eight. We got the 4%. Now we're working on level nine and then 10. Obviously, each one will get uh, an extra percentage point. Coming over to the members tab, we can see that we do have two uh, spots open uh, if you're interested. First of all, if you're interested in playing Golem Overlord and you haven't played, I will have a link in the show notes that you can you can go off of that link and start playing and I get a little bit of a bonus. Um, but uh, with that said, if you're even if you're playing right now and you need a spot in a guild, um, 
go ahead and send a application and uh, I will uh, accept it. Uh, the only thing we ask is that um, you play on a daily basis and uh, I do ask that you bring a workbench. That's really, we have some members that don't have workbenches. It just really helps us out if you do have a workbench. So we can go over here to the list. Um, I'm kind of happy of where we're at. Um, we're, for a smaller guild, we are actually now at level 22. And you can see Knights of the Rose Templar here. And one comparison here that I'm kind of proud of here is that compared to the rest of the guilds, we have one of the higher, higher level bunkers. You can see that at level 8, the Perpetuals, who are the number one guild, are at level 8. And then there's a, one other. Uh, in the top 10 that I uh, top 15 I see here that has a level eight and then uh, digit spin furious chickens do have a level nine so they're ahead of us but for one of a smaller guilds um, ranked at 22 I'm pretty happy that we're at bunker level uh, eight so while we're on the guild tab uh, I wanted to take a look at a, a newer thing that uh, is still um, it, it falls under the uh, stuff to be to happen in the future it's the research tab and you can see that the bunker we are on level 8 of 10 but there's some other items golem tower arcane library and the essence atelier um, and those uh, I haven't heard any details on those okay but it's showing that he's thinking ahead and those are newer things uh, to be added to the game so with that said that's kind of an update on where the guild is um, I think everything's been going smoothly. I haven't done a whole lot of content on this. He's been continuing to add things to the game and move towards the new gameplay mechanic, okay? Uh, he has added in the last month or two, he has added the newer equipment. We can go over to the market. And I'm just gonna sh sort by uh, exceptional, but if you look through here, you can see like he's added uh, weapons, he's added armor um, and all the various uh, new equipment helmet and things of this nature it's just at this point I uh, haven't done any um, content on it because I haven't gotten a piece of that uh, they are available in the higher starred uh, higher tiered chest I haven't gotten any I have heard a few people that are in the guild have gotten them um, but uh, and at this point in the marketplace, they are quite pricey. So I haven't went out on a limb and bought any of them uh, yet. So I can't report on them. They do look interesting. As discussed before, the process of upgrading them is going to be much the same as upgrading a module. In other words, you would go to the Pyrite Forge and you would use the craft, the quality, the reroll, and use all the various items that you have available to increase the change the stats, increase the quality, etc. And that's all going to work like that. And they would be equipped on the inventory uh, right here at the top. You can see that I still have these slots open because I don't have a piece of them. It does look like he's making um, headway uh, towards the new uh, gameplay style, which um, oddly enough, we've been talking about over on the Splinterlands uh, side as well. There's been a faction of people that have been talking about the idea of having a PVE uh, type um, uh, gameplay within Splinterlands. Obviously, that's not even in the works right now, but the whole uh, the whole idea is to have a PVE experience where you can go in and go on an expedition and do something other than just straight out PVP attacking people, right? So this is uh, very apparent and it's available in several other games. So it looks like he's making headway on that. I haven't heard a whole lot of news lately. Uh, he does keep things up to date uh, as much as possible. If you go into the news section, he had an interesting article uh, back at the end of March about his ideas about a land game incorporating the land game into uh into golem overlord he did launch avatars i didn't do a whole lot about it because at this point in time they're just cosmetic and you know how i feel about cosmetics i don't buy them strictly for cosmetics uh, he did release the vip uh, which if you're interested in information on that kgm jam did a video about that a month or so ago because he joined um, i don't have uh, the specifics on that i could go through it but i chose not to uh uh, get into the VIP in the future if things change around I may choose to do that but most of my money uh, frankly ha in the game has been going into leveling the guild because I see level 10 uh, being a um, 
a primary thing for us to get to as far as our guild goes. Once we get, get to that 6% claim bonus, then we can pull back and we can discuss it whether we even need to still have the tax. If we don't, we all agree that we don't. there's nothing else to go. You know, uh, one thing I will note is that those other buildings, when they come around, we'll need to be able to level those as well, whatever they have to deal with. But if we get to level 10 and there's really no need to keep the tax going for that point in time, we can just do away with it and bring it back down to zero. Everybody will increase incur an extra 5% automatically uh, as far as every claim goes. And uh, I think every extra percentage in this game, it's, it's a battle of one extra percentage at a time. So just as a way of an update of kind of where I stand, you can see that my rank is Titan. And currently with all my stats I got going on right now, I have an NFT rarity of 667% and NFT quantity of 203%, which increases the quantity and the rarity, uh, anything over 100% of the uh, NFTs that I get on a daily basis when I'm doing my quests. So basically all your stats build up and as you're increasing those, you get more NFTs, higher quantities, and higher rarities. Uh, and then you can see that I'm drawing in about 8.3K part per day, as well as 64.8 shard with my current stats. Um, like I said, uh, a lot of that uh, is due to I do, I use a 12 hour claim uh, overnight. Um, and at the end of the 12 hour claim, I do a large amount of attacks to take advantage of that extra 8% claim. And then I do short claims through the day to try and get attacked as, as little as possible. And I don't do a whole lot of attacks during the day, mainly because I'm usually busy with work and stuff like that. So that's where I stand there. You can see that I'm currently prestige 20, working on 21. And you will see the benefits, like I've said in the past there, I kind of fell behind in the prestige game, but I've been trying to catch up. And I'm doing pretty good because the prestige uh, costs a lot as time goes along, right? So, but you can see here that the prestige, when I get to level 21, um, as usual, the maximum level is 50. Um, and you know the mechanics of prestige. If you don't, you can check out uh, one of my other videos, or if you just do a mouse over of the prestige on the main page, it will tell you exactly what it is about. Uh, it increases my stash by 150%. It gives me plus 25% max rep conversion. Uh, it gives me plus 21% uh, claim multiplier. It gives me 538% uh, NFT rarity. And I do have a max five star uh, daily tier for quests. So I'm doing pretty good. Uh, like I said, I've been in it pretty much since the beginning. Um, and I still think it's going pretty well. Um, uh, I got a fair amount of achievements that rank up on a daily basis, doing pretty good there. But once again, these achievements are just, uh, you don't really get anything out of them. They're just like, hey, you know, uh, here's some achievements, you know. Uh, so I think uh, just to kind of wrap it up here, uh, I haven't largely been doing a lot of content because we've kind of been in a lull period, not to say he hasn't been doing things. Things have been coming along, but I'm mainly looking forward to when the new gameplay mechanic uh, comes into play and we can go ahead and start doing the expeditions. Definitely expect to see some content once that happens. Otherwise, I mean, we're chugging along. We just made level eight uh, and uh, working on level nine now. Don't expect it anytime soon because it's a, it's a large number. Like I said, we'll get through the part before we, a long time before we get through the shard. But if you want to kick in some shard and you're in the guild, Go for it. I appreciate it. So this has been Bronze Dragon with a Golem Overlord update. Uh, I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. And hey, I'll see you on the flip side.